Hello everyone, welcome back to HS Coda. So today I'm going to demonstrate you how you can put your email signature dynamically in Salesforce along with your company logo as an image file. Okay, so let me actually show you how, uh, how we can do that. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So I have already opened the tab in my org hscoda.lightning.force.com. In here, I have this contact, Maria HS. So I want to send an email to this particular contact. How I can do that? So from the right section activity, I can hit this email box and this pop-up will show up. And in here, I can write anything I want and send the email to that particular contact. But as you can see, there is no email signature in this contact. So every time we want to send an email to any contacts and whatsoever, we'll have to type out the email signature manually like that. Okay. Also, we'll have to insert the company logo, company logo of HS Coda manually from here. Insert image, images into your messages. So it's actually hectic, right? Uh, making the changes every time, writing the email signature every time. Uh, it's unlikely, right? Usually what we do in our Gmail or Yahoo, the email signature is already there. We don't have to worry about it. So we can do the same thing in Salesforce too. So let me show you how we can achieve that. Let me close this section. So first of all, we ha will have to go to my settings. If you check on the right, right top corner, you have the avatar of yours. And in here, you can see the settings. You'll have to click on this one. And this brings you up to the personal information tab. And in here, you'll have to search for email settings, my email settings. You have to click on this and you can see the email signature box is here and this is the maximum characters are allowed and in here you can write your email signature and hit save but one thing is still missing the logo the logo of your company so how we can accompany that logo in this email signature so let me show you so to do that you have to go to the file section if you don't have the file section over here all you have to do click onto the app launcher and search for files and click onto the files. It will bring you up in there. And from here, you will have to click onto the upload files. And I have also, I have this one ready. So I'll click upload and hit done. Yeah, successfully uploaded. And this HS code hub on the right side, you'll see a drop down. You have to click on this one and hit the public link. And it is asking for the expiration date. So if you are planning to use it with all the email signatures or make this as an Salesforce admin, make this uh, email signature link publicly available to everyone's, everyone else in the organization. So I strongly recommend to set, set it up like max, like as much higher you can set it up. So something like 2040, 2041, let me say 2040. Okay, and then I'll have to hit this button, create link. And they will just ask, uh, yeah, if you're okay with this, it's maybe like sensitive, you are sharing sensitive information and whatsoever, but you can just go ahead and create. So they have created the link for us, for this logo, I will have to copy this link. Okay, so accordingly, so what I have to do, paste the link in here and hit enter it's taking some time so as you can see i can access the image using this link so i will have to do one more step to get the actual link of this logo i have to right click on my mouse and open image in new tab it will open up another tab in my chrome browser so from here this is the actual url of this image from here, I will have to copy this image, Control C. I have copied and go back to my email settings. In here, I'll have to uh, uh, write some HTML. Let me show emails. I think you all know about it. This one, image tag. This is basically embedding image in HTML. So IMG space SRC equals strop, then paste your link, the one we copied. And at the end of the link, we'll have to slash and close it. That's it. Okay. 
we are set with the signature string, also the signature logo. Now let me hit save. We have successfully saved it. And now let me go back to the contact we are trying to send the email to and let's see our signature shows up with the logo in it and hit the we are in the contact and hit the email box waiting yeah there you go voila so it worked perfectly right we have the best regards we have the name automatically popped up also we have the logo automatically set up in here so one thing you may ask like why the logo is so big so this is actually up to you so during the upload you can make it smaller you can reduce the size of your company logo like something like this like if you make it like this size you uh, reduce the pixels of your image then it will show up like this okay so that's uh, you don't have to worry about it before uploading you will have to take care of the file itself that will take care of the issue okay not a big deal so yeah i hope this tutorial will help you to set the email signatures dynamically for the users and yeah if you have any comments or any suggestions or any confusions you can write into the chat and don't forget to like comment and subscribe my channel and see you on the next video until then take care goodbye have fun